Yep. Hi there. All right. So what we have, we have a lady with lipedema. Her problems right now, the arms, and they don't look terrible, terrible, but because she has pain, we're doing the surgery. So majority of patients with lipedema have the problems with painful nodules on the bottom. And sometimes it almost spills out in the forearm. You can't really see it yet, but eventually it'll be much more pronounced. So she, she showed me that her pain is mostly right here going down the forearm. So we're gonna mark the area where we need to do liposuction it goes almost to the wrist. And then we're gonna focus a little bit more in this area on the elbow and going down. And the key here is you see, at the level of the wrist, you have barely a finger left before it slows down. So this is a potential cuffing that happens in lipedema patients in the legs. It also can happen on arms. And we're just learning about this process. So the same thing you can see, she starts having cuffing here and she starts having cuffing right here. So we're gonna do liposuction here and then go all the way up here. Now, in her specific case, majority of the symptoms are limited to the bottom of the arm, but some patients have the problems also going on top of the arm because she doesn't have too much of extra because we see a lot of patients that have much more tissue in this area than she does. I can use Vaser liposuction or ultrasound liposuction in essence to uh, be more gentle, so to speak. I know some people don't like it and they're worried about burns and all this kind of stuff, but if you're careful, if you know what you're doing and you lower the setting of Vaser, it actually works very well, especially creating a smoother look. So right here, I barely have a pinch. There's nothing here. And uh, right here, I can feel the lumpies and they're tender. So we're gonna smooth them out first, suck them out, wrap her up. And uh, you see here on this side, you can see that the lipedema doesn't really involve this area as much, correct? A little bit here. Maybe a little bit here. Okay, so we're gonna also mark a little bit here. I recently saw the patient who had the arm lift done for cosmetic reasons, and then she was kind of developed lipedema. So this was small, this was big, and it almost looks like Popeyes. So to prevent that, when I do the surgery, I also extend a little bit in the axilla, okay? Because if lipedema comes at the time of menopause, despite our efforts, I want to have a balanced increase at least. So we're gonna do this, this, and this, and that's part of lipedema treatment of the upper extremities.